very curious friends. I am slowly returning back to life. And oh, man, happy 2022. I'm still excited. I'm still getting over something. We've got a special guest today. This is Minnie Pearl. Minnie, do you want to say hello? Say hi, Minnie's. Say hello. Um, back in the office here, because I mean, where else? I mean, if you got dogs, you got kids, you got, I mean, isn't like the car sometimes like your most sacred spot? Anyway, Minnie's like, who are you talking to, lady? Anyway, I'm hopping on here because a lot of things, actually. It's been a minute. I'm starting to feel better, but it is a monumental day today. Today, I am going to get rid of something that I've been holding on to for a long time. And that goes back to our whole uh, theme for this month, even though I'm like halfway already through the month. But actually, it's actually perfect timing because a lot of times people, this is exactly when people start giving up on their New Year's resolutions. And where I feel like a lot of times we're always trying to add stuff at the beginning of the year, like a new routine or new something like that. I feel like this is my go-to book. It is the total opposite. It's about clearing things and making space. And I feel like that gives us a sense of accomplishment. And a lot of times if you are, you know, living someplace where it's really cold and you can't go outside, this is your opportunity. I mean, I know that we've had plenty of opportunities to clean out some of those clutter spots, but this is really now a great opportunity because you really do need to make space like actual, not only mental space, but physical space and emotional space for new things to be able to come in. Otherwise, there's so many distractions with what you have on right now that you can't let anything else in. So I love this. It's not the, I don't know, Maria Con. I can't even remember. This is Karen Kingston. And I do try to read this like every year at the beginning of the year. It's a super short book and it will help you. It it just lets you, gives you some ticks, trips, up tricks and tips on how to remove some of that hard clutter. So it, you know, it, I'm going to read one little bit in here. It's like, what exactly is clutter? It's things that you do not use or love. Things that are untidy or disorganized. Too many things in a too small a space and anything unfinished. Oof, that last one hurts, doesn't it? Oh, anything unfinished. Ugh. But basically, she talks about how there is energy attached to things. And whether or not you realize it or not, you, a lot of times in your environment, you're walking around in a, I mean, you are living inside a, of a uh, vision board, basically. Anything that you're seeing, any words, any stuff that's on your fridge, anything like that can uh, serve as a... Um, a subliminal message to your brain. So you have to be careful about the energy. And I've done this, um, I mean, I do it a lot. Like I try to do it every year. Sometimes I've tried to do it a couple times a year, but she has some really cool tricks like, you know, for art, art is a big one to get rid of because you, you just get sentimentally attached to it. And her uh, suggestion is you take a picture of it. So you have a picture of the art, which that did actually come in handy because I had a friend that had made me a bunch of art and <clears throat> there was just some energy that I was, you know, holding on to. But then later I was able to, uh, give that picture because, you know, they wanted to see what, you know, if I'd still had the art and, um, I didn't, uh, because I needed to open up that space. So anyway, I think that there's um, a lot of good information in here, but the majority is, is that there is, um, you know, a lot of times we get free things. Like I am frugal when it comes to certain stuff like that, because I'm not very materialistic overall, I would think. But there are some things that, um, that when I get them, it is, you know, and I just cleared out, oh my gosh, I, that, I did spend the first couple of days of the New Year's and I went through and cleaned out, so, like almost, almost everything has had at least one run through. Not everything, but the majority of stuff. But I did, um, I got my spices all organized because one of my goals for this year is better eating, cleaner eating. And I felt like, 
where I had my seasons where I, I actually got a little uh, organizer that's supposed to make it so that you could see all of them within the shelf. But I think it was more made for somebody that had like a pantry or something because it just didn't really work for where it was. And so I ha went over to my friend Paula's and she had this really cool organizer in her drawer. And I was like, oh my God, I totally want to do that. And being able to see them all. And she even has them alphabetical, which I did do that which I normally wouldn't do something that OCD, but I do think it is helpful. And so I got all of that organized and oh my gosh, maybe I'll do the insert because I did do some um, <clears throat> time-lapse camera, <clears throat> excuse me, time-lapse video of it. But there's just, oh my gosh, something so awesome of, you know, pulling all that down and like wiping all of the counter down and just cleaning it all out and then um, reorganizing and repurposing that drawer. It really felt like I was moving out of my space and creating more space for 20. So there was like almost a full move between 2021 and 2022. Jesus, I've, I've already forgot about 2021. The only thing I'm bringing in is this freaking cold. So um, anyway, I just think that if you can do, you know, like the other thing that she's talking about different stuff, like I had a, for instance, the hand-me-down stuff. So I had a bunch of dishes. I got some uh, nice new clean white dishes for uh, Christmas for my mom, which was really nice. And so that will uh, cover some of, you know, I had all these mismatched dishes, but I've just, I'm kind of like, a lot of times I'm like, if it that works, don't mess with it. It's fine. But there is, a, um, you know, all this hodgepodge energy. But the biggest, the monumental thing at all for the whole thing I did, I think it was, I don't know, four trips to the Goodwill. And I know that sometimes you want to donate um, and I can donate specifically, but sometimes you do need to stay on that hot streak that you have and just donate it. Because if you make a pile for this friend because they've got this kid or this, and then before you know it, you are literally driving around with all of that shit in your car for a year or at least six months and you haven't, <clears throat> you know, donated it out to anybody or given it, you know, and so there it is. Now you're carrying it around with you. It's not even in your house. So that's what we're working on is making space. And so the first part <clears throat> of the month is about physical space. So, I mean, if you haven't, if you've got that drawer that, oh God, that pain in the ass drawer that you, you know, you have that you've been not wanting to clean out. If this is your, this is your time. This is your sign. If you're looking for a sign or a storage unit. Um, I did do my storage unit last year and, and reduced it to the point where I don't have, have it anymore because I just was waiting forever to go through some stuff. And I just, and by doing that now I'm saving like a, over a hundred bucks a month just by not having that storage unit because I reorganized all the other stuff at my house. So it's worth doing that. And I think sometimes, you know, especially like I've mentioned in before, if you have a hard time during this time of year, which it is, I mean, all this, you know, holidays are over and it's just now is when the cold really starts kicking in. February is a hella month. And so if you can spend a little time creating a better environment so that when the weather does get nicer and we are allowed to move about the ship again, that you have a clean open space that you can invite other things into, whether it's emotionally, physically or whatnot. So that being said, <clears throat> the biggest thing today was, and I'm challenging, this is your challenge. Okay. Is in this first part. And then we're going to go the second part of the month, we're going to do, um, more mental space. So I want you to start thinking about, um, your social, your social media. So curating, curating, yeah, curating your social media um, platforms so that you are only seeing things that <clears throat> are bringing you joy. Okay, so we're going to kind of do this as well. So even if you like somebody, if you see their stuff and it bothers you, you need to unfollow or you need to mute or you need to do something and, and create a space that is inviting. So <clears throat> not too inviting because you don't need to be on there all the time. That's like a whole nother discipline. But you do want to create some space. But in this first part of the month, which we're already through, so, I mean, I'll give you the rest of the month since I'm behind because of this stupid cold, is to find something that is holding energy. <clears throat> and the energy could be a story. It could be the story on how you got something. So that's mine. Is this 
coffee pot. Oh my gosh. This is the day. Like I, can you see this? Can you, I mean, I don't know if you can see how disgusting this is. This coffee pot has been in my life for way too long and it's time to say goodbye to it. So I did finally. But my whole thing was, is I fought myself because I'm like, well, I don't need a new coffee pot. Why the hell do I need a new coffee pot? This coffee pot works great, even though it doesn't really. It's super high maintenance. It's burnt as all hell. It was an old boyfriend's that I ended up getting in the divorce, even though I never was married, but you know what I'm saying? And so I've just been making my coffee for the last, you know, I don't know, nine years or so with this coffee pot thinking, okay, you know, I don't need another coffee pot. I do. I do need another coffee pot. I don't need to have a faint um, thought about how I don't really like this coffee pot every morning when I make coffee. Okay. So find something in your life that does that to you, whether, I don't know, it's a pin that you got from an old boss, um, a letter from your high school sweetheart that you've been holding. I don't know, whatever it is. Um, I also had this candle that I got that, you know, somebody had given me, you know, that I had like this um, feeling of obligation because I, whatever, you know, it didn't have, I mean, I mean, when we are decluttering, I will say that there are, I mean, I have just like everybody, I have to have some dump zone areas or some, you know, I can't be so minimalist. I have, I have issues with books. I have issues with coffee cup stuff. Like I got a ton of mug collection. So there are certain things, uh, jewelry. I've got a ton of jewelry. So there's certain things that I'm allowing myself to expand into. And then in other areas, then it's like an 80, 20 rule, you know, so that I can create more space. But I did, I got myself, here's the box for the new, I don't know if you can see it, my new coffee pot. And it's freaking awesome. So not it's in one of these crafts. So it it automatically turns off in 30 minutes so my freaking coffee doesn't get burnt. It's only a four cup, which is perfect, so I don't feel like I'm wasting a bunch of stuff. And it's in this um, stainless steel craft, so it has, it keeps it warmer, I think, longer. I don't know if it's thermal, but it does feel like, it, and it's not as breakable with the glass. And the best part about it is, is it's mine. It is mine, freshly out of the box. It has no energy attached to it. And so, as I've been making my morning coffee and fucking smiling, that it is a whole new thing. It's just, I can't wait for this to be the old thing. So, I don't know, whatever it is. You know what it is in your life that is something that you've been holding on to. Maybe a stupid candle. Maybe it's a piece of art. Maybe it's some something that maybe you don't realize. You just, but you know, if you get this book, it's awesome. It, you know, I mean, she even breaks down like how your house is in, you know, a, a certain pattern. Basically, you can break it down to uh, different uh, coordinates in your, I thought I had it marked right here. So, it, you know, where having clutter in different spots, feng shui wise, it means different stuff. So there's a lot of interesting information, but basically it just means you got some stuck energy. Okay, so there's a difference between having stuck energy that isn't serving a purpose. So if it's not useful and you don't love it, then it doesn't really need to be in your space. So that's a lot, you know, it's sometimes it's very hard to get very simple. And so I challenge you to find that one thing that you've been obligated and it could be something very small. It could be a screwdriver that you've had forever. I don't know. Something that you're going to release and let go of so that you can create some space to allow something else in. So that is your challenge with this first part. I'm sorry that I'm so late, but hopefully we will catch up. But we are going to be moving on um, to uh, emotional space and physical or spiritual space and um, what's well, less financial space. So right now, challenge you to get rid of something to start thinking about your social media as you don't have to do anything right now. But as you're scrolling, start paying attention to the things that are uh, triggering you, whether it's a positive trigger or it's a negative trigger, just make a note of it. Okay. Cause in the next, uh, month, 
which hopefully I'll be more on top of, we're going to talk about our values. And how we find our values is we first have to start uh, recognizing what triggers us in good things and in bad things and start to ask, our quest ask ourselves questions on why those uh, emotions are happening. So anyway, mm, thank you so much um, for joining me today. And I hope that you enjoy the challenge. I hope everybody's starting an awesome 2022. I am slowly, slowly going to be back, um, back at it here. I'm feeling a little bit better. And um, yeah, so I got brought everything in the car, including the neighbor's dog, because I mean, my gosh, I got a kid in, in dance class. I got a dog sitting. I mean, all of it, but here we are in our, our awesome little, uh, office in the car. So anyway, sending love and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.